Dear Olivia, the days feel like weeks here. There's constant gunfire, no matter where you are. I'm in a never-ending state of fear for my life with these terrible living conditions. I'm always cold at night, and I get barely anything to eat. Last week, I witnessed a shell land near my friend. I don't recall much after that. Thinking back on it now, I saw him crawling across the ground, his legs missing, before he ultimately stopped moving. I remember shortly after, feeling his blood on my face. It was warm. I cried that night. It was the first time I had cried in a while. I guess his death really showed me the true horrors of this war. I've only been on the front for a week and a half and I've already seen many of my friends killed in horrendous ways. My heart aches for their loved ones. Receiving the news of their death would be a sorrow thing that I couldn't even begin to imagine. The other part of me feels gracious that God is on my side and he's kept me alive for this long. My heart yearns for any sort of news from home, as I write to you. I'm currently waiting in the trenches with my two friends, Jeannot and Frosty, if all of them are left. Originally, it was me, them, and about four others, but those four are dead by now. Frosty and Jeannot have helped me get through some hard times. They've even stopped me from killing myself. You're probably wondering why I'd even consider suicide, but the things I've seen, they, they keep me awake at night. Sometimes I wake up in a cold sweat, other times I wake up screaming. Contained in this letter is a ring. I'd originally planned on giving to you in person, well, asking for your hand in marriage. The reason I see it necessary to give it to you now is because I don't know how much longer I'll be alive. If I don't make it home, I want you to know that I love you dearly, and I'll always cherish our times together. We're currently waiting on the Germans, so we can launch a counterattack. They just started their attack by releasing a yellow gas as a smoke screen. It's probably to prevent us from seeing their soldiers. Shino is telling me we're going to rush them, so as to throw off their whole plan of being unseeable. Because of this, I must conclude my letter and bid you farewell. Until next time, yours truly, Mark, with love.